Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Legends video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the full power battle against Trunks but for the Z power for Fusion Zawasu. So as you guys should know full power battles uh, basically have three difficulties. Normal, Hard and Scream and you have to essentially choose four units from your own units uh, that will basically fight this boss and you should be able to beat them. Now during special events uh, these full power battles drop the legends fest medals which is great and some slot removers and also you can redo them to get more legends fest medals as well. Uh, but they'll also drop a significant amount of Z power so yeah they're pretty decent I would say since they've changed them full power battles have been fine uh, the normal difficulty is pretty accessible. The rest is, you know, relatively challenging. Now, in terms of the, like, actual mechanics behind it, we'll kind of talk through that during the actual event itself. But, yeah, the main premise is that you need to choose four units. Uh, the categories are pretty straightforward. So the categories for this one uh, are going to be Vegeta's Family, Future, Trunk Saga, Event Exclusive and Extreme Future. Uh, those are the four units you have to choose. There's a whole bunch of battle bonus characters. If you have those, please use those. They are preferred. Uh, they will be much better. And also consider the typings of the boss that you are facing. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much like the gist of kind of the setup. Um, Obviously, I'm going to be using only event exclusive units. Uh, I don't suggest you do this. I'm just doing this kind of to show the base level that you need to enter these at. Uh, we're going to auto select gear, auto select support members based on power bonus and pretty much go from there. Please remember that you do want to select a comrade if available. So if you can and your friends have set them Please make sure that you grab some comrades, uh, comrades, comrades, um, whichever. But please make sure that you choose them so that you obviously have the ability to, you know, pick up like some additional power level. It does help you out. It is definitely worth and I would suggest doing so. Beyond that, uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, basically, we're just going to set things up as you can see here. For Future Saga, we're going to be using the Zamasu himself. Uh, so you can use that to get a Z power up. You can do a ton of things now. Uh, you can do the hyperdimensional cop, and you can do this. So there's at least a couple ways, um, you know, that you can kind of grab that power. For the extreme units, we're going to be using the Future Gohan that you get from the story event. Uh, and I think that's really going to help people out. And then finally, for the event exclusive, we're going to be using GT Goku, since GT Goku has the battle bonus. So that's pretty much sums up the gist of the situation. I don't think there's anything else in terms of team building to really take note of. And like I say, just make sure you do a second sweep and grab whatever comrades you can. Uh, it does tend to help you out. And yeah, if you are struggling, try and raise the Z power of Zamasu through Hyperdimensional Cop. It will help you out and it is worth it. So yeah, that's basically it for the team building section. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can replay these to get Legends Festival medals. So you can replay the normal, hard and scream difficulties. The normal difficulty, if you replay it, will give you one. The hard will give you two and the scream will give you four. The only thing left is to choose which units you're going to use. We're going to be using the red GT Goku. And then basically from there, we can now take on the event. So uh, a couple of things you're going to want to know when you are taking on the event. Uh, so first thing, you're going to have all four units attacking them at the same time. Uh, that's all pretty stock standard. The other three units not controlled, but you are controlled by AI. Uh, the other thing you need to know is please look at the units in the bottom left hand corner. If an exclamation mark appears by their heads, intercept the attack. It will boost your link and also give you stronger boosts once you burst the boss's shield. Then you're going to see these attacks pop up that have this little kind of glowing white gold border. 
and don't have a key cast. So you can see there I've got a Strike Arts version and a Blast Arts card version. You're going to want to with those. Make sure that you keep those for when the boss engages their burst limit mode. Uh, when they engage their burst limit mode, you are going to want to activate these special attacks. So you're going to save them when the boss uh, does this mode here. You're going to evade the attacks. You're going to jump forward, jump backwards, jump forward again. And once you've evaded this, the boss will generate a shield. Now here you're going to want to expend the special arts cards. So the special key blast card and the special strike arts card. And you're going to want to use the all out rising rush. You're going to want to use the rush after you use these special arts cards because if you use the rush it will delete the arts cards. The blast card is about tapping, you need to get to 25 to have a perfect there. And the all out rush is about timing. You need to time your taps perfectly as the larger circle intercepts with the smaller circle and you'll be able to do increased damage. Once you've done both of those, feel free to drop your rising rush. If you have a special card, I suggest using the special card before dropping your Rising Rush as you're going to want that damage. Once you've done the Rising Rush, you will then basically have the boss's shield pretty much fully depleted and so you should be good to go. Uh, once you knock out the boss's shield, you will then receive a whole bunch of buffs like increased draw art card speed, key recovery rate and damage. This is going to help you to finish off the boss and to keep damaging him throughout the rest of the phases. As you can see uh, here at least we are kind of pushing forward. Uh, we've got, you know, managed to get the break. You can see a whole bunch of buffs kind of popped up on the screen and you can see our draw card speed has increased. Here you are going to want to save the special cards just in case you have to go for round two or you can expend them. Uh, I've expended one just uh, for the sake of showing you that you can. Uh, but generally speaking, I would always keep them safe in case you have to break the boss again. Especially considering you are likely to lose some of the AI controlled units at some point. But yeah, that is basically it. Pretty much sums up the whole of uh, full power battle. And you should be able to get yourself at least the normal difficulty rewards for Zamasu. So you shouldn't have too hard a time. Should be fairly straightforward, fairly simple, fairly easy. And yeah, you can claim those rewards. As you can see here, we are going to be able to wrap things up. You don't need to worry about the boss having a shield. You don't need to break the shield to knock the boss out. So you simply just have to get their health to zero. And you'll be able to pick up where you left off and finish off the boss. So pretty straightforward stuff. I'm going to finish him with a rising rush. The rising rush is incredibly easy to do. So you shouldn't have any huge issues. Some people will struggle, uh, but you should be more than fine, generally speaking. But with that being said, uh, that is basically it. Uh, there's nothing really else to mention. Obviously, we got the win. Uh, you can then move on to hard difficulty uh, or normal difficulty. Obviously, you can replay if you want the Legends Festival medals. But yeah. That's it, and we reward ourselves with the Z-Power and also some slot removers, which is always nice to get. So, all in all, some pretty cool stuff and pretty decent. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, there's nothing else really to talk about. I think um, if you are struggling, you can let me know in the comments down below, and I will try to help you out and give you some suggestions. Maybe you need uh, some team advice. But yeah, that's basically it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.